What's up, everybody? Couch Mills here, coming at you with a brand new Valorant video, and I gotta break down exactly why 2.08 broke ranked, where people that were immortal in the previous act actually got placed in freaking gold. And then we gotta talk about some leaks about a Valorant Battle Royale, and the fact that pros are saying that Astra is not good for the game, and that she's broken. We gotta break all that down, so make sure you watch it to the end, smash the like, and subscribe, and go to the Game Leap website right now, down below, for in-depth advanced guides, VOD reviews, tips, and tricks. We got so much content on the Game Leap website. You gotta go check it out right now, down below, if you're a fan of the channel. But, without further ado, let's jump into the video. Now, patch 2.08 just came out yesterday, and everyone was super hyped about it. We went over two videos breaking down everything that was in the patch. That being said, this one little bug was happening to a lot of people when they were placing their accounts for the first time in the new act. You see right here in this picture that we're going to show you where he actually gets placed in gold. And yeah, it's absolutely atrocious, and that is just kind of funny, but also pretty messed up. And for a while, Ranked was just throwing people in ranks they really didn't actually belong in. And it was just freaking chaos. So they actually had a hot fix here. They fixed the issue. However, some people that already placed are still having the problem. So Riot Upsurge actually tweeted out this stating, if you're still having issues with this or other rank weirdness, please DM me your Riot ID. No, this is only applied to players in NA. All other regions should not have this issue when the patch goes live for you. So all's well, ends well. You can reach out to him if you still have problems, but most of you probably won't be having any problems anymore. But did any of y'all actually get placed in a much lower rank or a much higher rank than you were last act? Definitely let me know your experience about it in the comments down below. Has there been any weird things going on? We can't go a single act without something going wrong, am I right? <laughs> but moving on to the next door, we gotta talk about some data mined info by none other than Valorant Leaks on Twitter, who of course is just carrying the leak scene, by the way. He actually found all this information about a potential battle royale system in Valorant, and this is what it said. Down to health 100 HP, Downtime, 15 seconds. When revive, you'll have 50 HP. You may revive from two meters away. When you get near a player, revive will show. And while reviving, you will see reviving. Revive takes two seconds. So basically, this is just getting down and being able to revive, which is something that you see a lot in a battle royale. And if you remember, like almost maybe like eight months at this point, we did have some battle royale leaks a long time ago, and then we didn't hear anything about them. But this actually kind of reveals potentially a battle royale in Valorant. Now that being said, this is just a resurrect system. It doesn't necessarily imply that there will be an actual battle royale. I could imagine a story mini game or game mode where people get down and people could get rezzed and that would not be a battle royale. It would actually just be some other mini game that you could play just for fun to coincide with a big event or more likely the next episode. Now there's also been other speculation that this could be a character, a very specific character passive that when they're dead, they don't actually permanently die and they have the capability of being rezzed maybe once or something like that. I don't know, that sounds kind of freaking busted to me, but maybe this actually has a place in the game and it's not a battle royale. Now, all in all though, it kind of really just points to a battle royale, right? But a lot of people are pissed off. A lot of people are like, we don't want a battle royale in Valorant. And for most of you, I understand where you're coming from. I personally hate battle royales because of the randomness aspect of a battle royale. And I know a lot of you feel the same. That's why we're all playing Valorant and not Apex or some other random battle royale. Now that being said, there are a lot of people that only play battle royales, right? And I do think that Valorant offering the battle royale mode as like a more casual alternative where people can just jump in warm up and play that could be something extremely cool for bringing in more people into the game bringing up more money bringing up more hype in the esports scene and then them being able to use that to develop the main game more now all this requires them to actually make a good battle royale but then you also got to think about the flip side of that coin where what if the battle royale does too well and then riot actually puts a lot of their resources into that instead of the main game that is always the fear but i honestly don't think that's going to happen i think that if a battle royale mode gets introduced it's gonna be something that's gonna be played people are gonna like it I honestly think it's actually good for the streamer scene because one of the big problems with Valorant right now is a lot of the pros are complaining about ranked. They say it's way too crazy, they hate it, and most of them are playing in little pugs. They're not actually playing in the ranked ladder, which is cool, but it doesn't really showcase the ranked system, and 
it is way more controlled and sometimes a little boring if i'm being honest after a certain amount of time i do think that if riot nails a battle royale system correctly it could be the best of all worlds where it just gives people something to do to warm up it gives pros something to do and it brings in more money for the game but definitely let me know what you think about all of it in the comments down below do you think it's a terrible idea do you understand its purpose but you won't be playing it or are you someone who likes battle royales and you like valorant and you want to play both and you're really excited about it let me know about all of your opinions in the comments down below. Now, the last story we got to talk about is about Astro being freaking broken because Astro has been seeing more and more pro pick rate and pros have gone out stating that they just don't think that she's good for the game of Valorant. Specifically, TSM Hazed went on a rant on Twitter about it, and I'm going to read what he has to say, and then we're going to put our two cents in the matter. First, he said, the more I sit here and think about it, the more I think Astro is bad for the game. Since people are asking why, she's too versatile, she has too many options with no counterplay other than to bait it out, she could single-handedly stall for 30 plus seconds, she takes away the essence of an FPS, half of Astro's rounds in Astro form playing a minigame. Obviously my first point is a matter of game mechanics and imbalances, my second is much more subjective approach. The ability should complement the gunplay, but Astra is much the opposite. I spend 20 to 30 seconds per round playing SimCity with my orbs, not very FPS. As for a solution, I don't think I have one. You could make your orbs permanent so you can't recall them. You could make them removable in a very similar way to defusing the bomb or capturing an ult orb, but it would be silent instead of only taking a second to disarm. So basically, Hayes is saying that Astra doesn't correspond with the vision of an FPS game that Valorant should be. He's saying that the abilities of Astra far outweigh the gunplay aspect, and you're spending way too much time actually being in your specifically non-FPS ability rather than moving around in your physical body or shooting at all. Now, while I will agree that some things about Astra are probably too powerful, the ability to stall for way too long, and certain bits of her abilities are maybe a little bit overtuned. I don't necessarily agree with what Hayes is saying here about her not being FPS enough. You see, ultimately what he's tapping into here is the much larger discussion about what the game of Valorant should play like. How much should abilities matter and how much should gunplay matter? Well, a lot of people that come from CSGO might prefer the latter, Players who have come or flocked to Valorant because of its unique ability-based or ability-centric aspect of it from maybe Overwatch, Apex, or even other games like MOBAs, they might be more interested in the ability aspect. And I do think that there's a specific place for some characters that are on one end of the spectrum a lot more than the other. Now, does Astra go a little bit too far? Probably, but that doesn't mean that every single character has to put gunplay above all. Now, of course, where that line in is going to differ from person to person. Some people think that gunplay should be like 90% of the power level of agents, and then the abilities should be weaker, even way weaker than they are now. And I think there could be a discussion made about abilities like Killjoy's turret that actually could bring so much value, especially on pistol round, and it's just an ability without the need of gunplay at all. Now, like I said, it's a spectrum, so everyone's going to have a different opinion on the matter so we're gonna have to see if riot agrees with what Hayes is saying or would they rather just nerf her power level while keeping her gameplay the same i'm not entirely sure and i really want to know your opinion about the matter do you agree with Hayes, or do you think that some characters should be way more ability centric than others and you're okay with astra pushing the bounds in that regard definitely let me know what you think about this and your opinion about all of that in the comments down below now go to the Game Deep website in the links down below for high quality in-depth guides. We have in-depth step-by-step guides, VOD reviews that are going to show you exactly what you need to be doing every single round, playmaking patterns, decision-making, positioning. We got it all on the Game Deep website. Go check it out right now down below. But thank you so much for coming by. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I love your faces. And I'll see you tomorrow. Faces.